So you want to learn how to sew, do you? Don't do it! I'm just kidding. Or am I? I'm not going to try to scare you away from sewing. I actually like to encourage as many people as possible to learn how to sew. However, whenever I start out on a new venture, I like to have as much information as possible. I like to know all of the pros, all of the cons, all of the fine print. And whenever I start a new venture, there always seems to be a lot of fine print. A lot of unknown. So my hope is to not scare you away, but give you some information from my own personal experience to perhaps make your journey just a little bit less rocky. And I know that there are a few people here that sew, and hopefully they can, in the comments, add some sewing downsides from their own personal experience. And hopefully between all of us, we can send you off on this journey as well informed as possible. Reasons to not learn how to sew. Enviable skill set. It sounds pretty cool, right? Not necessarily. I assimilate it to owning a truck. If you own a truck, everyone will ask you to help them move. Or so I hear. I've never owned a truck. If you learn to sew, many, many, many people will probably ask you to make their wedding dress, alter their bridesmaid's dress, make their Halloween costume. And that's great. If you want to do that, wonderful. And I have done and it's been great. Also, it can be a little overwhelming if you have the same problem that I have, which is a difficulty saying no. And another problem, which is a difficulty saying you can't do it for free. Speaking of free. Money. This is a divided one because a person can practice frugal sewing, but it has to be done in a creative and patient manner. If your ideal is to purchase from the fabric store, you will likely be paying more to make one item than you would purchasing that already made item in a store because companies are able to purchase fabric in bulk and oftentimes pay their employees very little. So they are able to sell that item at a less expensive price. Again, there is a way to sell without spending an incredible amount of money which I can get into in a different video if you are interested, but for now, more cons. Pain. Believe it or not, sewing is a very physical endeavor. It is inevitable. When you sew, even being as careful as you possibly can be, back problems, shoulder pain, neck pain, it's all part of the trade. Yes, you can do things to lessen this, stretching, heat and cold, chiropractor, massage, ergonomic chairs, etc. But that all costs money, time, and thought. Equipment. If you want to learn how to sew and don't already have access to the tools and equipment, it can be pretty expensive to accumulate them. Sewing machines are not cheap. They can be expensive up front. Definitely, it's an investment. And if you take care of it, it can last you a while. And if you use it a lot, it can potentially pay for itself. Side note. If you do want to learn how to sew, don't purchase all the tools and equipment all at once. And definitely don't listen to someone else telling you what you need. That is a very personal thing to figure out. And you're going to have to figure it out as you learn. I purchased several things that people told me to purchase and I never used them. Along with equipment, you will need to maintain the equipment and perhaps purchase some separate attachments. Sewing machines need to be cleaned, oiled, serviced, etc. Just like any other machine, really. So it's not solely the cost of the machine at time of purchase, but also throughout the life of the machine. Time. Sewing can potentially cost you money. It can also potentially help you to not spend as much money depending on how you do it, but you will always be spending the currency of time. Whenever you learn something new, of course, it's going to take some time to learn how to do it, to practice it, but even once you've become accomplished in it, it still does take time. In addition to the money that you spent on the supplies, time is also paying for that thing that you are making. I am truly not trying to dissuade anyone from sewing. This is simply something to be aware of before you jump in. I don't ever want to lead people to think that if they can find a curtain or a tablecloth or a section of fabric for five dollars and they can make a beautiful dress out of it, that that beautiful dress cost five dollars. It didn't. It actually cost five dollars plus however many hours you put into it. And if you do the arithmetic of how much money you can earn per hour at your job and add five dollars to it, then you would have a more accurate amount. I think that time is something that is really under valued, at least in the circles I've been in, we tend to undervalue our time and other people's time when that is actually one of the most precious things that I can think of. And we spend it so fast. To sum up, sewing is a wonderful thing to learn how to do in a skill set that has helped me out in many different situations and has brought me much joy, also much pain, emotional and physical, but it is worth it to me at this point. I only want to share this information because I don't like going into something not having as much information as I can. I 
hate finding out certain important details after commitment. So hopefully this was helpful. And if you want to know more about sewing from my perspective or have any questions, let me know in the comments. And to other seasoned sewists that are here, please do leave your sewing cons from your personal experience in the comments. I'm out of breath. Speaking, let me down. Sewing machines are not split super cheap.